News of Matranga back at work led to more questions from attorneys representing the family of Joseph Richardson. Fox 44's Jonah Gilmore joins us with their frustration and why they are calling this move reckless. Jonah. Yeah, Lauren, still fighting to get more information about the investigation. The family's attorneys say the move to allow Matranga back at work was not only disrespectful to the family, but in poor taste. I meant my words enough to express the disappointment. Tonight, attorneys representing Joseph Richardson's family are questioning the decision made by the West Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office. It calls into question so many things that leads us to say that this is reckless, intentional behavior. The West Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office tells me Vance Matraga was given his badge, restoring his rights as a deputy. In a statement, Major Zach Simmers says Matranga is on desk duty. He comes in, does the paperwork, and goes home. When asked why Matranga was allowed to return, Simmers responded, it's either let him sit at home and get paid or come sit behind a desk and get paid. For this person to be given that power again under this cloud of suspicion is nothing short of ridiculous. Unaware of the current status of the investigation, Haley says this new development sends a powerful message to the community. When something like this happens, it happened today, we wonder if somebody knows something that we don't. Or is the Sheriff's Department that bold to take into no account what's going to come back from the state police that they are going to be judge, juror, and arbitrator and determine that it is okay to shoot an unarmed black man in the back of the head. The West Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office refused to go on camera. Major Simmers also confirmed Matranga is allowed to carry a personal gun, saying, quote, it's his God-given right, something the attorneys argue is careless, telling me carrying a gun is a constitutional right, not God-given. Reporting in the studio tonight, Jonah Gilmore, Fox 44 News.